The running mate of NDC flag bearer, Professor Nana Jane Opokwajiman, has been defending her decision to join scores of senior NDC members who signed a petition for the Muntier Three to be pardoned. In 2016, the former vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast joined others asking then President John Mahama to pardon the Muntier Three. But uh, Professor Opokwajiman has come under criticism for her decision since she was named running mate. However, speaking on Cape Coast-based Live FM, she justified her action. The long and short of everything is that, did people take their time to listen to what the people were alleged to have done? Did they hear any rape in what they said? What was their charge in court? Did it include rape? What was the sentence? In all this, no one went to court to discharge them. The court was allowed to do its work. Those of us who took time to listen to what they said, we prevailed on them to go and apologize, and they went to apologize. They continued apologizing until their sentences were handed down. Okay. We did not interfere with the court process. If you look at the judicial processes, there's something called clemency. Do you mean that when someone sins or commits a wrong and the person runs to you, a mother, to intervene and beg, would you push the person into the fire? Or when you beg, does it mean that you support what he did? When you have a child and a child goes out and throws stones that breaks the glass of someone's car, I know as a parent, you might have raised your child very well, but it is not always the case that they will stick to what you tell them. You might tell them, don't go to this place or don't do that, but they will go against it. Your child has gone against your words. He's done something wrong. Do you mean that the talks and all you will do to him will be in the public domain? No one heard what we told the three men in private. We said it's all right. Let the law take its course. And the law took its course. They went to jail, and we said to ourselves, we have to go and beg. Our Ghanaians telling us they've not heard this before. The former president could have intervened, but he didn't. He didn't do that. He allowed the due processes to be followed. What do we see today? Okay.